Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy, hello, guys and gals, and welcome to day two of the National Hardware Show. Yeah, first up, we popped into the wind booth. I went to introduce myself, and they're like, we know who you are. You're that bear of Den of Tools. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Anyway, uh, I do have to say that I had a conversation with the guys and gals at Win, which is one of the things I was hoping to do at this show. I won't say it went as well as I would have hoped, but I don't want to hold up the rest of the show for right now, so we'll get back to that at the end. Next up, we stopped and talked to the guys at Dawn, uh, Vice, and Clamps. Just amazing equipment here. Real top quality stuff. Apparently, they used to do a lot of stuff for Wilton before Wilton, as we all know, kind of uh, is not quite the company they used to be. Uh, so now Dawn's going out on their own under their own name, that, which seemed to be a, a big theme of the show. Just really amazing quality stuff here. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a chance to talk with them after the show. But I can't talk about Vices and not mention these guys. Now, this is a company out of Germany, and they mostly made stuff for the educational market. <laughs> if this is what you get in schools in Germany, damn, because this is, look at that. Holy cow. Talk about a space that saver. Great. Man, I could not get over. Yeah, I know, you all know the, the bear has a, uh, you know, a penchant for this, uh, you know, kind of retro hammered colored kind of paint scheme thing, but man, I really like the idea of that. And this, the, the system there for raising and lowering it there, uh, you know, changing the work surface and whatnot. It's really nice. <laughs> That's just amazing. I love that thing. It's not cheap, but it's nice. These guys, speaking of not cheap but nice, another German company. Wow. This whole system. So you get these, all these systems here, these tool systems, come in these modular boxes. And then there's a back pane that the boxes snap into. So you can decide. Sorry, my, my camera got a little out of control there. Uh, but there's a back pane here. That big one right behind the one he's holding on to, where these boxes snap into that box so you can create your own custom take-along set as well. And the foam cutouts on these things is just, oh, it's too pretty to, to believe unless you see it in person. Then I got to talk to the guys over at Spider. And I know a lot of you have heard of Spider. I'm a fan of Spider. Uh, and I had a, a good long conversation with them about all the tools they have out, what they're coming out with. They were nice enough to give me a little demo here about how their, uh, their whole saw works, so I'm going to let him speak for it. That's pretty fast. Alright, so that's trick one. There's three tricks. What happens if I've got a joist and I need to run a flue or exhaust end or pipe at an angle that you can't do? You can't drill whole saws at an angle, right? They can't engage because of my arbor system. Yeah. Oh man, look, I, I didn't mean to, but I drilled the wrong size hole. Yeah, now what do you do? I've got this hole, or I've got a pipe that's going to be the joist, and you're large. Yeah. So normally you put a piece of pipe behind it, screw it down, center drill it, and then you're yeah. good to roll right? Yeah. Mine, hold on. I grab the whole size there, and I have the second order, the whole size I want to work. Now I'm going to nest on this just like that. The second hole saw is literally just floating here because it's on the X, it's not moving. Oh yeah, that's that'd be great. I had to fight with that last week. Next up was Montezuma Tool Chests. These guys were really nice. Had a great conversation with them. And I'm sitting there talking to them, and then I turn over, and what catches my eye? Wow, these beautiful garage cabinets. I don't know what it is, what's in the water, but people are coming out with all sorts of garage cabinet systems. These things were gorgeous. I, I love that, that chrome blue on that. Beautiful. DJI Osmo. Then I also had a, a talk with the guys over at Cold Steel. Sorry, I don't have more pictures of the booth. I thought I'd, I'd taken more, don't know what happened to it. 
but they're really nice guys. Had a great conversation with them. I told them to look up my uh, my video on uh, what was it the uh, the mag lights where I broke out my cold steel warhammer. Uh, I'll try to link to it up here so you can take a look at it. And then I had a conversation with the guys at Readywares, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and they make a whole bunch of work-related uh, accessory items. Mostly, uh, I think most of the items, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think it's all uh, wax-infused canvas, which is a real throwback to uh, some of the stuff that was done back in the day. And, uh, I mean, beautiful products, just great, really heavy-duty. Yeah, that's a lovely image, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> really nice guys. I like talking to them, and I wish them best of luck. Also, I had a chance to talk with the Costco, I don't know how you pronounce it, Ladders. I see these guys all the time. They're in Walmart. They're in a bunch of the other stores. And if you've heard me t say it once, you heard me say it a dozen times, these kind of step ladders, as I like to call them, step stairs, are the way to go. They're way more stable than your basic step ladder. And they give you a real, you know, mobile platform to work from. In fact, she's going to demo it here for us. So I'll let her do that job. I like those trays. I also forgot to mention there are um, belts and these are for paper towels. <laughs> snap right in there. That's great. You got a portable elevated workbench. Yes. And next up, we've got a company here called Pointy. Now they're out of Ireland. It's a little bit different than what we normally talk about, but one of the things we do try to talk about here on the den is how to find deals. Now these guys are mainly targeting retailers, mom and pop retailers, and allowing them to basically play with the big boys. All right, so tell us about Pointy real quick. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Payne and I'm with Pointy. Um, essentially what we do are, you know, the problem we need to solve is that these days everybody's searching for products on their phone. Home Depot, Lowe's, and those guys are appearing. So we help you to appear in those search results with the big box retailer and then drive that online traffic into actual online traffic. Cool. Is that good? All right. Thank you very much. And man, let's talk about air compressors. This is a full size 80 horsepower compressor running full bore. Take a listen to this. Air compressors have a change since the beginning. They've always been a pump, a motor, a tank, a switch. Uh, what we've done here is with Smart Air is now we've given the then we got some uh, miscellaneous tools that I ran into. Uh, we got this company had a whole bunch of uh, lawn and garden kind of uh, power tools. The uh, not familiar with them, maybe you guys have, have tried them out. What was interesting is apparently they also make the tools that are labeled under the brand Armor All for when you want to slide off your seats. No, <laughs> just teasing. And and some other stuff. Apparently we got Vac Master. I've heard of them, seen them around before. They make some good stuff. And then we got this company. I don't even honestly remember who they are, but they had some really good looking products here. Maybe we can figure it out here looking at it. Uh, the, the mowers there, they're very nice looking kind of stuff. But look at that back wall. We're going to pan around over there in just a second. That's an entire line of 20 volt cordless power tools. They had welders, they had uh, miter saws, they had uh, all sorts of uh, outdoor power equipment. But we come over here and look at this. Never heard of these guys before. All the guys at the table there, I believe by listening to them that they're Middle Eastern, not sure, but we'll have to uh, look into them more to see who these guys are. They were good looking tools, I can say that. And they had a full 20 volt as well as a 12 volt system. So here's my discussion about Win. So I had been hesitant to recommend Win because I'd heard some negative things about their warranty service and because when I've tried to reach out to them, nobody ever returns my calls, returns my, my emails, nothing. I just don't hear from them. They're, they're like a ghost. And any company like that who's just impossible to get a hold of makes me a little worried because if somebody has a problem, 
how do I know that they're going to get back to them as well? And I talked to them and they assured me that basically that, oh yeah, we always get back to our customers. We just weren't getting back to you because we get lots of people asking us for free tools and we don't really do that sort of thing. And so we don't return those kind of calls, except I never ask for free tools. Uh, I always start a conversation with, I want to talk to somebody there. I want to build a relationship. I want to have somebody to bounce stuff off of, to ask questions, to pass along questions and concerns from the viewers. If the company then suggests, hey, we'd be interested in sending you some products for review, then we discuss it and, and see if it's appropriate. Anyway, the guy I talked to is said he's not the guy that's been getting my, my emails, so I don't know where the ball's been getting dropped. So we're going to have a conversation. We'll see where it goes from there. I don't know. I'm reserving judgment at this time. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. That's day two. Stick around for tomorrow for day three from the National Hardware Show. And until then, shine on.